I met Karen in, uh, in London in 2007. Um, we were working for the same company and uh, I managed to get a promotion up to the, uh, well, another job and uh, she was temping, she couldn't find any uh, teaching work that she enjoyed so she took my job and um, I had to train her up in that position at work. Um, Patrick and I met in London, um, we were both living and working in London and when I went over it was a school holiday so I got a temping job and he had got a promotion which meant that I took his spot at the office and he had to train me up. And I guess that's how we got to know each other um, and after a couple of weeks I think we went up for some work drinks and uh, yeah I think we shared our first kiss that night and uh, we've been together ever since. We went out for drinks, work drinks, um, where we sort of, I guess, got together. And then we went on our first date, which was together, which we did a bit of a pub crawl because there was a lot of drinking involved. And then we went to Brighton Beach as well, just on a day trip. Um, and that's how we got together. The proposal was a funny one. I actually uh, I managed to get the conquer my nerves and uh, an SMS or phone uh, Karen's assistant at school, Marie, and uh, organised, um, well I just spoke to her and I said this is what I wanted to do, I obviously wanted to propose to Karen and I wanted to use the school environment in her classroom, in particular I used the kids to propose to Karen. We sort of workshopped the idea of, of having the kids lift up the signs, kind of like the movies, and it all came together pretty nicely with the kids holding up individual signs saying, uh, will you marry, and then I came around the corner, all dressed up with some roses uh, and a box, obviously with a ring, saying, uh, with a big sign saying me across the front. Um, Karen at that stage was probably in tears, so <laughs> either good or bad tears, but uh, she said yes, and uh, we got engaged. So I had no idea whatsoever that we were going to, Patrick was going to propose. Um, I had told friends, people had asked me recently, obviously because they knew, and I had said I thought it was about a year away, hoping it was maybe a year away, and then I got called to the principal's office one day at school um, just to have a chat, and um, the whole little unbeknown to myself, everything was going on back in my classroom with my pre-primary kids that I teach and my assistant Marie. Um, I walked back after the meeting of the principal and all the kids were sort of lined up with all little red glitter love hearts and question marks around their necks and I had no idea what was happening. Um, I sat down on a chair and they started reciting a little poem which Patrick had made up and then our song came on and the kids started holding up um, in sync signs which said, Karen, will you marry? And then he came out with me and he got down on one knee and I just started crying and said yes. He's very good looking, <laughs> which is what first attracted me to him. Um, and he's a real outdoor person um, and he loves to do outdoor activities and we have a lot of fun together. Um, the three most attractive things about Karen um, in my eyes. <laughs> uh, she's uh, very outgoing and the most caring person I think I've ever met. Um, she's very close with her family and shares a very important bond with her family and they're so close. Um, and she is extremely attractive as well. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Yeah, what about me? I, I sleep with an eye mask, which apparently is a bit funny to some people. <laughs> um, and Patrick does not know how to put his own clothes away, ever. So they're normally on the floor in the bedroom, which drives me nuts. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm perfect. Are you um, talking about me? Oh, um, <laughs> I don't really know. The arm mask is a, is a funny, quirky thing, I guess. Like Karen wears an arm mask when she goes to bed. Um, and she still sleeps with a teddy as well. Which, uh, <laughs> the age of, um, I wouldn't mention an age of that. <laughs> That's pretty funny as well. Where we self, self in, in five years is obviously happily married, hopefully with uh, one or two children. Um, I'll hope to be president of some uh, large corporation and earning a lot of money and driving a flash car. And 
Karen will probably be, she'll probably be... Not working. Yeah, not working. Uh, I'm looking after the children. <laughs> and doing all the cleaning, so I don't have to no. do the cleaning when I get home as well. That'd be great. Sounds good except the cleaning part. <laughs> um, very excited. Uh, we, we've been engaged for, well, since um, April, March, March of last year, of 2011. So it started off really far away and now it's only a couple of weeks out. So I'm very excited and I can't wait and it's all starting to feel real now. Yeah, it's, it's actually not that stressful given we've had quite a bit of time to plan the wedding. Um, I think there's a lot of nerves sort of as we gear up towards the wedding date now. But um, both very excited and uh, looking forward to spending some quality time with friends and family. So kiss me.